Hello everyone, I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues playing as New Canaan, one of the best factions, countries to play as. Right now, we are looking pretty thick, considering what the Western United States actually is, and we are getting ready to go to war relatively soon against the 80s. Now, we want to go to war with the 80s because there is... They have resources and industry that we need to use to create new, powerful, religious divisions. See, my goal, my hope, is to start using some Spec Ops divisions, which I've started editing. If you'll take a quick look, at the end of the last episode, I had about 70 or so army XP. Now I only have two. What have I done? Well, I'm going to start making some 40 combat with divisions. Obviously, I need a little bit more combat with, so mostly just Spec Ops Divisions, with a few demo teams, and maybe a fire team, maybe two fire teams, maybe three total demo battalions, maybe, maybe not. So I'm going to need some more resources. I'm going to need, uh, need a bigger army. We just had forced conversion by coring parts of Idaho or northern Utah, Utah. But now, we must choose under Order of Enoch, or this. Hmm. Which one gets us to go to war faster? Anything here? Less monthly population, but more recruitable population. Temperance. Humility. Ooh. No, just justify war goal time on us, which is okay. Doesn't really matter. Trade deal, opinion factor, stability, defense, diligence, research slot. Yes, yes, yes. Monthly population, infantry breakthrough. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so under United Order of Enoch. The United Order of Enoch was a pre-war Mormon program that established communal utopian societies designed to lower income, inequality, and alleviate poverty. This sounds like a fine idea. Cool. And right now we're still getting more- Oh! Hello there, manpower. I love seeing you like that. So, to make these divisions, we are going to need quite a bit of Spec Ops equipment. We will need some fire teams and everything else we pretty much have. So, we need to make some of these. We've got to repair our factories. Two sons was annexed by Kaisar's Legion, which is fine with me. In the end, Kaisar will... It'll be a problem, but we can deal with him. NCR... NCR Rangers join the NCR. Alright then, well, it looks like the NCR has a new buddy. The Yakuza de Territories declared war on New Reno at the end of the last episode. And, uh, even though they were at war with Gecko, Pale Folk, as well as the Cyclops tribes, so... Okay, the Iron Alliance has declared war on Yappa. The Iron Alliance is looking kind of odd. It just looks a little odd from the way <clears throat> I played as them when I took out the Scorpion Bites as well, so we'll definitely see what happens. Hopefully the Iron Alliance doesn't get beaten up too badly, but they're taking quite a few hits around here, and that's not looking too good for them. Ooh. Uh, do we need to scavenge for anything? Well, our resources are doing pretty darn well. How about we just maybe look for equipment? Let's use a couple of vehicles and look for equipment. Also, I didn't realize, but you could read the lore of some of our ministers, which is really cool. We've got Rubber Refinement. It's 2277. Uh, this is quite a ways ahead in time. APCs would be good. We need salvaged motorcycles, so we'll do that. So, as we're waiting to go to war with the 80s, and then we'll probably go to war with whoever um, we can conquer, basically. I want to get at least minimally all of Utah. And I didn't realize what the geography of Utah really was. But it's really kind of a weird rectangle. But, alright, so we have Abraham Juarez. So, he sent as a missionary to the tribe in Arizona. The tribe he was with was massacred by the Legion. Fleeing back to Canaan, he saw firsthand what the Legion could do. Knowing that they would eventually come for New Canaan, he had spent his years building support to spread the word of God to the world by force. Beautiful. Next up we have Waking Cloud, who is from the Sorrows. She's a tribal convert. Waking Cloud was one of the first Sorrows converted by Daniel. As a midwife for the Sorrows, she cares deeply about the tribe and their culture while also adopting their Mormon, adopting the Mormon way of life. Well, she's not going to like what I'm going to do to the Sorrows. And someone else in my comments didn't like that either, but there's a reason why we're calling this the Battle Mormons. New Canaan's expert arms manufacturer... Aaron Grant is New Canaan's de facto quartermaster, an expert in the 45 caliber pistol. Oh, I love 45 caliber. He creates almost all of the weapons used by New Canaan soldiers. A genius. Oh, wait. They spelled as Aaron. Wait, is this supposed to be A-A-R-O-N or A-R-R-O-N? I've never seen A-R-R-O-N. That might be a, a slight typo, maybe, perhaps. Oh, and it only is 25 uh, 
cost to do this to get Pierre Potter. But that's not bad, seeing as eventually we get much better stats or ability to reduce the cost of hiring new generals. Oh, I'll also call this the Lord Tsunami. Let's see, what else we got? We got a little bit of these guys over here. You know what? I'm gonna... What's the supply like? Infrastructure. There it is. Supply. So, 19 out of 28. Right now we have up here 29 out of 27. You know what? I'm going to move you around here. There you go. That should be a little bit better. A little bit more spacious up in the north so we don't lose nearly as much supply. We might lose more supply down here. It's only two. Yeah, we might lose a little bit of supply, but you know what? That's okay. We'll definitely do that first. Good. Good, 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 good. Western Brotherhood declared war on Arroyo. Alright, Arroyo. You're probably not going to survive. I hope you would. I really hope you would. You got volunteers from the NCR, which is nice. Not a lot of manpower, a couple divisions. The Brotherhood has way more divisions. Quite a bit more manpower. So, oof. Good luck, Arroyo. I hope and wish the best for you. But we're doing really, really well in supplies. Obviously, I need more close air support. I need some more support equipment. Uh, fire teams. We're actually making fire teams, which is actually pretty darn good. We got a lot of naval XP. Our army XP is coming along. We have prepared defenses next. More entrenchment speed as well as def defense for our leg infantry. We're going to get a little more heart attack with anti-armor tactics, which sounds very, very delightful. All right, United Order of Enoch. And how much longer do we have here? 40 days. That's actually not too bad. 40 days. Post that, I will probably go to War with the Sorrows next. Um, Ruby Valley Refuge. You're part of Nevada. Yeah, I definitely want to get Delta down here. Yeah, the White Legs. Yeah, I'll probably go to war with Delta. And then maybe the White Legs. And then maybe the Sorrow, so I can attack them from two sides. But, I want to let you know the size and the scope of this campaign. Now, this might not last nearly as long as most of my other campaigns. Oh, the NCR. The NCR went to war with, with the Western Brotherhood. Alright. Good idea, guys. Good idea. A royal might actually survive. But, with this campaign, which I'll talk about after we choose our next focus. The Tribe of Dead Horses. At Dead Horse Point, the Tribe of Dead Horse lives in relative peace, threatened by the violent White Legs nearby. But, White, white Legs, Dead Horses, they're, they're kind of far away. But anyways, so the size and scope of this. I want to, like I said, I want to unite all of Utah. Minimally all of Utah. But, there is a place in the wasteland that is a center of religious attacks, degeneracy, drug use, gambling, all sorts of vices that the church does not approve of. Mormons know we shouldn't go to these types of places, and if anything, we should destroy this place that I have in mind so that everyone else can be on a more redeeming path. But anyways, for dead horses, we should ally with the dead horses as they would be a valuable ally on the river. Also, it is our duty to protect them from the white legs. But this, this city, this heretical, heathen, di diabolical city. It must be squashed. It must be burned to the ground, or at the very least, under Mormon control. And if you know anything about the Old World Blues, you know what city I'm talking about. You know, you know that under Mr. House, New Vegas is the pinnacle of anarchy. The pinnacle of dis societal destruction. It must be under Mormon control so that its influence across the wasteland can be curbed. It must be under our control. And that is the minimum I want for this campaign. Crop rotation. Very good. Because a good Mormon man, good Mormon man, good Mormon woman, do not does not use drugs. No one should use drugs. They harm you. God is not pleased when you take drugs. Um, let's see. Basic melee weaponry. A little bit more army XP. Actually, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and throw on these bad boys. Mm, fire team gives you 15 more defense. These give you about 10 more defense. This gives you 7.8 more breakthrough, but fire teams give you 2 more breakthroughs. 9 soft attack. I'm really looking at that breakthrough. I love breakthrough. Even though soft attack is something I really, really love. Fire teams are more for defense. 10 more HP. Oh, but if I put this on, I want to get higher organization. So, you know what? We'll do that. We'll be kind of even here. Do that. Throw on some 
More demo companies. That's good, yeah. Good. I love it. I love it. Oh, can I convert these guys yet? No. We gotta wait. Oh, can I go to... No, I cannot. More divisions, thank you. Um, holy clergy. We did throw on one demolition company that last time. If I threw another one on, our organization would go a little bit lower. We get more defense. More... Even more soft attack. Hard attack, piercing, breakthrough... More fire team. More defense. I love being explosive so much. I love explosives. And we have enough explosives in the in the, in the stockpile that it'll be okay. Really, I'm making fire teams just for uh, those um, divisions. Nice. Wow, the NCR is looking pretty nice now. They have almost all of California. Uh, I might say this. We will be at war very soon. So, I might just save my political power at the moment before we go to war with the 80s. Alright, a couple more of these bad boys. Very nice. And it sounds like my cat Binky is outside my room and wants to come on in. Ah, uh, the 80s, they won't know what hit them. They got a lot of motorcycles. A lot of cool, cool motorcycles, but it ain't going to be enough to stop me, man. New Canaan, good. I like that. Infrastructure levels. Um, do that. Go ahead. Start justifying on Delta. 160 days. And let us launch an invasion. Alright, my puppets are moving in. And my cat is clawing the carpet outside my room. Hold on. My apologies, but it doesn't seem like we're losing at all so far. And if anything, they do not have enough divisions to guard their entire line. What a pity. Oh, our allies want to join? Sure. Come on in. Come on in. Can I go to... I cannot go to war economy. That is disappointing. Oh, well. Gotta wait for that. The Lord's Teacher. God's Warrior. Well, less stability. Oh, our stability and war support isn't very good. Can we get more stability without hurting us anywhere else? Not really. That's kind of disappointing. Mm. Motorized artillery, infantry. We will be doing more infantry stuff, but we will be doing more stuff like this. Uh, tank reliability, power armor, combat robots... Planes. Reliability and ground attack. Well, we'll do Victoria Flyers, because... Why not? I'm not even attacking using my normal army. My manpower is precious. Also, oh, I did name this army Deus Volt, and my name is the law. Which, the army might come again, leave, depending on what we do. We lost 7. We only lost 22 in total versus 300 some. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Alright. Uh, strength of the 80s. Not a lot. Not a lot. And it's time for our regular New Canaanites to strike into the 80s from the north. Tally ho! And remember, Christ is watching. Do not disappoint him. Good. Load them up with all the dynamite. Oh, we're doing... Pretty well on spec ops, too. Very nice. Definitely gonna need a lot of that. And I can't train any because I need more Special Forces Battalion, so we're gonna research that as well. Wendova. Good. Good, good, good. Mojave Raiders declared war on the Fiends. That's the first time I might have ever seen that, actually. Um, we're gonna need quite a bit more support equipment because of where we're gonna go with this stuff. Good. Not bad, 60 versus 800, almost 900. We need to capture the Oasis as well. This isn't going super well down here, and that's okay. Dead horses. Beautiful. Next up, Temperance. Temperance, or Temperprantia, is one of the seven heavenly virtues and is practicing self-control and moderation. That is the way of a good Mormon. Self-control and moderation. Uh, 
infantry. Beautiful. Alright, very nice, very nice. Very, very good. Oh, and the pharaohs declare war on Heaven's Gate. Now, here's a question for you all. I did check out the tree for Heaven's Gate. Who? They're a Christian nation, but are they just mostly like Mormons? Are they non-denominational? I don't know. They might be needed to convert someday for us. I'm not really sure where they lie. It'd be interesting to know what they are up to, I suppose, one would say. Let's go ahead and make a few more of this. And then we could maybe use a few more planes. Actually, we could use a lot more planes. Put you at the bottom, though. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Glorious. So, Delta will be next. The main army will be displaced down here. Followed up with little corridors of other men. Good. One, two, three. three. It almost works out perfectly. Let's go ahead and convert dead horses. Eh, we can grab some stuff, some vehicles. Sure. Stockpile's looking very nice. Our main Mormon army is just kind of hanging out. The Lord Tsunami is doing very well training all day for a potential war sometime. Ah. Delicious coffee. So, after the Delta, we'll probably take out White Legs. So you guys just kind of hang out. You guys just kind of hang out as well. We have salvaged motorcycles. Let us get some scrap gun trucks next. Actually, I'm thinking about this stuff as well at the moment. Oh, man. The Dogs of Christ. I, I have to do that. I have to do that. The Dogs of Christ are calling. That's amazing. Oh, very good. Very good. And we got about 100 days. Actually, that's a, that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be already. Let's see. Temperance. 40 more days for that. Our stockpile is looking very, very good. Let's get a quick look. Triplane attackers, you're not the best. But that's okay. That's totally okay. You don't really have quite a good range anyways. I want at least 50 of y'all. And you know what? How about we build up an airbase over here? We'll get two. And before we do that, let's do that first. And then do that. Build up the airbase as fast as possible. We need planes. And we must begin the Ace Mormon Air Force. The AMA. Ah, crop rotations. Good. That's right. This way we can reproduce even more and more and more. Um, irrigation. Ah, an ancient tactic of creating even more crops. Good. 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 Oh, that's actually that's quite a bit. That's pretty good. But give me those planes. More and more planes. If anything, we could probably drop you by one. Yes. 3.61 a month. Motorcycles? Well, I don't think I really need motor... Eh, I might need a few motorcycles. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. Oh, and I must, must, must research. Oh, we can get one of these bad boys already. Actually, you know what? I don't have enough equipment or support stuff. We'll train one anyways right now. I want at least the, the Mormon Spec Ops divisions to come out. NCR declared war on the Rapids. The NCR is looking honestly pretty formidable. They're looking pretty darn formidable. Uh, they don't have all of California under them, but soon they will. That's actually really, that's really, really cool. I'm kind of impressed that the NCR actually took out the Brotherhood early on. Uh, looks like power armor won't be a problem in our game for too much. Uh, but the Iron Alliance is not looking good at all. That's disappointing. Standardized tools. Good. Um, backyard workshops. Happy 2278. Hope you're all having a great Mormon year. The Great Khans joined the Northern Mojave Pact. 
Ah, oh, this pack. I really don't like this pack very much. Let's see. Ooh, Temperance. Humility. Defense. Charity. Stability. Mm, more population. We're okay in population for now. Volunteers. I get two more... I get one Crazy Horn Warriors. Which I've technically already taken everything they've had. So, don't really need that. We need Humility, though. Or Humilitalis is a lack of pride, a knowledge of oneself, and your own drawbacks. Yes. Humility is a great thing to remember. That we must be aware of at all times. Okay, White Legs, you're going to war with the Sorrows? I can't be blamed if the Sorrows die. I'm not attacking them. And if anything, I am going to liberate the Sorrows, to a relative degree, to make sure that they can continue prospering. Let's see, anything here? Humility? How much longer till we go to war with the good old Delta? Oh, scavengers return. 50 days, not bad. Not bad. I can bind them to us, but not yet. Conversion, we need more converts. More and more converts. Alright everybody, my apologies. Binky keeps clawing the carpet. And now, he's on my chair. My apologies. Oh boy. Ah, oh, Khazar! You went to war with the damn busters already. You okay, buddy? And now it's time for him to bite my sheets. Cool. Mojave Raiders were annex. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. That's not bad, actually. The Fiends actually went to war. In most of my games, they never do anything. Maybe someday I'll play as Mojave Chapter. I probably will. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to end up playing pretty much every single nation at least once. So, just keep that in mind. Ah, coffee's good stuff. Also, I do want to upgrade these guys eventually. Because I did give him more ores. Crazy, right? More ores and another weapon slot, so. How long would it take three days for everyone to do this? That's fine with me. I don't really care. Obviously, the Navy isn't really our priority. We're going to need more electricity. We finally have a deficit of uh, goods here. Trained mongrels. Oh, the dogs of Christ. Um, I need to specialize warfare. And eventually get get more capacity for this stuff. Oh, Special Forces Platoon, which I've already unlocked. Okay, sure. Anti-armor tactics. And thank you. Now we will go with Wasteland Survivalism. More supply use for militia, but less supply use for our army. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Alright, 150 political power once again. Um, scavenge for... Vehicles. Why not? Why not? Humility. Consumer goods, looking very good. We're continuing to produce, produce, produce. The White Legs have gotten a little bit bigger, which is fine with me. One well, that's nation we have to wait to take out. Ah, oh, and that coffee I'm drinking is not bad. Premium Mormon coffee. How strong, though, is the White Legs? Not that strong. Up to maybe 20 divisions, less than 1,000 manpower. We can take them. We can definitely take them. Uh, we only have five more army XP. For the Disciples of Christ, or the Disciples of God, I need to throw doggos on them. I didn't even touch them yet. Binky special. Alright. Cool. 15 days, come on, how much longer? Three days. My goodness. I don't know why he does that. Okay, cool. Let's go to war with these guys. Let's get our planes. Come down here. Oh, humility. And irrigation, patience. So, patience or patientia as practicing forgiveness and mercy and preferring peace and harmony to conflict and anger. Binky, you need a little bit more patience right now. Anyways, 
Let us get our soldiers, our planes down there. Let's get some refined tools and begin going ahead and justifying on those dirty, dirty, disgusting white legs. Strength in numbers, huh? Well, we'll see about that. All right, the planes are down. They are standing by. And it is time to go. And I'll call both my puppets in immediately. Are they attacking us? No, our allies are actually attacking them. From the north! Deus Volt! Not bad. These are only infantry divisions, too. They have nothing on them except just guns and some melee equipment. But with the Ace Mormon Air Force, anything can be accomplished. Darn it. Can't do that yet. Um... Chief of the Air Force. Holy Wings! Ooh! Soraya, a devout Mormon girl, was never the traditional Mormon woman. From a young age, her passion for flight has controlled her life. From the moment she became an adult, she has dedicated herself to create New Canaan's Air Force. And she is a great Mormon woman. Wings for Christ. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Uh, plane support. Oh, these guys are struggling a little bit, but I'm not really planning on you attacking with them, so... These guys is where it's at. Go ahead and capture Delta. Losses, 49 versus 237-some. Glorious. Go ahead and help them out over here. Go ahead and take out Beaver Ruins. Ah, oh, beautiful. These heathens and pagans must be taken out. Alright. That's looking pretty darn nice. But instead, actually, I'm going to use you down here. And... Hmm. What is the infrastructure like? It's okay. It's not great. So instead, I'm going to do something like this. Followed up with Evander. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Planes, thank you very much for helping us out. Oh, there's no base up there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Can we bind them to us yet? No, we still must convert the dead horses to us. Nice, we're doing very good on this. Very, very good job. Now, let us go ahead and throw on... Oh, we can get some more fire teams. Um... Yeah. Yeah. The Hounds of Christ are calling. We're gonna do that first. Three week. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Tribal Scout gets... We'll probably go a little bit lower. Oh, whoops. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. The Hounds of Christ. Alright, very nice. Very nice. Pa patience is a virtue, my friends. Patience is a virtue as I am speeding this game up as fast as I possibly can. Our generals, they're doing pretty well. Thomas Price. Wilburn Trimble's almost an infantry leader. Uh, Thomas Price is almost an infantry leader as well, as well as a desert fox. Pierre Potter, he's learning. He's a novice. He's still kind of green. Anyone over here? No. We haven't really been in too many battles. That's okay. So, can we upgrade some of these ships, perhaps? Reinforcing. No available ship designs. Ah, yes. Um, just come on over then to the dock. We don't need to grind out for stuff all the time, either. So, go ahead, if we can. Backyard workshops, very good, very good. Support. Oh, we need guns. 45 pistols. Yes, automatic 45. Wow. Alright, now you should be able to do this. There you go. That's what I like to see. We're going to put on... We're going to double the amount of ores we currently have on all available ships. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And before we're done here... Ooh, supply is not very good. Get one more infrastructure over here. Do that. Uh, do that, though, first. Ah, uh, patience. Next up is chastity, or casitas. It's purity and practicing abstinence from that unholy sex. Abstinence works 100% of the times as dictated by the Mormon faith. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, are the damn busters still here? The damn busters are still here. Putting skulls on sticks. Huh. Oh. A lot more manpower. Quite a few divisions. You guys got a few divisions and not that much manpower compared to Kaisar, but we'll see what happens. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is Thomas Beauregard. He is the army of the Mormon Inquisition. That's right, my friends. That's what I was waiting to make this division for. The Mormon Inquisition is well and alive. This is exactly what I wanted to make. This is my... This was what my plan was for making 40 with combat with divisions. A Mormon Inquisition. History has told us that fairly religious factions have had types of Inquisition to stamp out heretics and heathens. But unfortunately, that is all the time for that we have today, my friends. Oh. Tomorrow, we will take out the White Legs. We will continue to unite all of Utah. And we will see where we may lie. I do not know what the future holds, but we will have a good time anyways. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below if you haven't already, and I hope you all have a great, great Mormon day.